Good afternoon. Welcome to the Country Computer Consultant. Let's talk about surveillance today. Uh, we live out here in the good country, rural environment, about an hour and a half away from Houston, a few minutes away from Brenham. I think our closest neighbor is about a quarter mile, just one, maybe a half mile for the second one. Uh, we really love this nice, quiet environment and safe. I've uh, been in the city before that, 20, no, right at 35 years in Houston, and that's one of the reasons we got out of the urban meat grinder and came out and became a country computer consultant. Now, one of the things that we've still had to deal with, uh, not personally, but I've had to see a lot of it, is crime out in rural areas. Mainly a lot of thieving. Uh, a lot of burglary, break-ins and stuff like that. Not here at, at our place, knock on wood, thank goodness. Uh, but when, since I am the chairman of Brenham Washington County Crime Stoppers and one of my clients is Washington County Sheriff's Department, I see and hear a lot of about this stuff. Read the paper, you know, listen to the radio. And so I'm able to keep up with that. Unfortunately, with times getting tough like it is, there's going to be more and more of that, and there has been more crime rates going up. So one thing I've really been focusing on for the past few years with clients is digital surveillance. The best way to, 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 to stop crime is to prevent it. Uh, the law enforcement entities, sheriff's department, they're good. They, they, go, they go after them hard, but... That's a reactive situation. All law enforcement is reactive. It's not proactive. We have to be proactive. We have to take the initiative to protect the property, protect our families. Luckily here in Texas, we can do that. Other than some of the liberal blue states, they don't even understand the concept of self-defense or the responsibility of taking care of yourself. We here in Texas do. Even with the recent laws that were passed... Uh, uh, last year. In fact, it enhanced our ability to use force if we have to to protect our lives and our property. So one thing is to make sure that you don't have to call 911 to to protect yourself. You want to be able to do it yourself uh, within the laws, of course. And uh, if every any, any fool ever tried to use force or commit a, a a theft against us at our property, we would utilize the the laws of tech to, uh, the laws of self defense in Texas with extreme prejudice. Let's put it that way. Anyway, on the technical side, to protect your home, office, and private property and your well being, the new surveillance gear out there is very helpful. Started out with a few of the di the digital webcams that you can stick on Ethernet. They're okay if you're using like one or two of them. Wired and wireless, I've tried the D-Link, the uh, the different ones like that. Uh, the frame rate isn't that well. It's not too smooth. It takes up a lot of disk space. There's a lot of uh, dependency on Windows workstations, which can be a drag. You try to use them as a DVR. I haven't had very much luck at that to get that consistently working. Again, if you got one camera and a dedicated stable PC, you can get away with it. No more than four cameras, that's for sure. Each additional camera that you add, the more troubles you're going to have. Bandwidth consumption, hard drive consumption, utilization of of the uh, processing and memory on the Windows PC. It's just a drag. What I have found that works the best you know, I'm licensed through DPS to do this type of work, is to go analog cameras. You know, the high-res color, 400, 500, even I've got a, some even 600 lines of resolution in these analog cameras. They come out either a co coax or you can push it along a twisted pair. You can go even further on Cat5 cable. Uh, one pair is video, the other pair is uh, power. That power being 12 volts DC or 24 volts AC. Works good, good clean picture. Now you pump that analog video signal to a DVR, a digital video recorder, no VCR crap, okay? And 
the, those digital video recorders have really come down in price. When I first looked at them a few years ago, man, they're like three, four grand. Now the entry ones are like around five hundred dollars, which I'd sort of shy away from. But you get a decent one, eight channel for a grand, sixteen channel, channel meaning, meaning the number of cameras it supports. Good sixteen camera slash channel. Uh, DVR for fifteen hundred. I bought one for the for the sheriff's bar just today. For $2,100 with a terabyte worth of storage, network ready, 30 frames per second, simultaneous each 16, each of the 16 channels. It's outstanding. That same exact DVR, you know, two years ago was three or four grand. So the prices of the DVRs have come down real good. You might hear my chickens in the background. That's what that bucket is. But uh, that's really what you want to get into is a network ready. DVR with uh, analog cameras. I'd, I'd still shy away from the IP cameras, especially IP cameras talking to PCs. I've even seen some uh, of these high channel DVRs still being Windows based PCs and we're still having problems with them. Okay, The specialized DVRs are uh, a Unix kernel mainly a Linux based operating system and it's just focused. That's all it does is record video. And you can, again, you can browse to it over the internet or from your PC. So they're all network ready, all set to go. That's good because if you can't, you know, stop them at your gate, and a good way to do that is put a camera at the gate. I've got one down at my gate. I get uh, every license plate car coming in and out of my place at the front gate. That's, eight, that's 800 feet away, about three football fields from here. Once I get inside the gate, there's yet another camera taking pictures of the front and the back of the car. All these pictures go to my phone and different places on the web. So even if they break in, steal the DVR, I still got it on the website. Uh, I've got signs. So they drive down the road. They're looking to see which place to hit these white trash or these scumballs, meth heads, trying to hit their next score to get their next set of drugs. And they see my gate. They go, uh, it looks like, okay, I got an ADT sign for our alarm here. Got the camera right out there in the gate, the sign that shows, you know, that the place is under video surveillance the whole time. And the motion detection light that comes on at nighttime. They're going to drive on down the road. At least for their sake, they better drive down the road. And they go to the next place, it's just a gate, and they might drive on through, and unfortunately they'll hit the less prepared one on down the road. That's what your place needs not to be. You don't want to be the less prepared. You want to be the one that's got the gear, do the investment, and go ahead and get that digital surveillance. So if they do hit you, good chance you'll have a make of, make of the car, maybe even a plate, some of the picture of the hoods around your house, and... A lot of these cops, especially the investigators, they know who these slime balls are. They know who the dirt bags are in and out, out of the jail. And they'll be able to hopefully get your stuff back. But the big thing is prevention. Use this tech, not technology that's out there. It's affordable now. A lot of you tech heads can do it. It runs over Cat5. It's a digital signal once it gets into the DVR. And you can uh, use this to help protect you and your clients. Put these uh, the, these solutions at the client's sites, uh, in, near their fuel tanks, parking lots, inside the vestibules, not the vestibules, the uh, lobbies, where there's a lot of high traffic area. Put it in your carport. Put it in your garage. The main entrances, in and out of your house. Get it geared up. And hopefully it'll prevent you getting broken into but if you are broken into especially if it's hot burglary they want to kick it in your door none of this technology is going to help you 12 gauge shotgun magnum rounds state laws of texas and hopefully they'll where you live will help you protect your place if you have to use deadly force at least like they say i'd rather be carried by six. Oh, i just screwed that up i'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six so this is the country computer consultant have a good day.